to demonstrate Norwegian purling. It is a technique that is kind of new to me. I understand why it's popular or why people are kind of excited about it. If you are a, a continental knitter who holds the working yarn in your right hand, I know a lot of um, continental knitters um, uh, newer continental knitters at least have a difficult time with purling and getting the tension right when you're purling and holding the working yarn in front. This is a way of keeping the working yarn in back while you're purling. So let's go and take a look. I have this little uh, two by two rib here so I can do both knitting and purling and show you how this is done. I'm going to knit the first two stitches, not continental. How's that? You know what? I have a couple of twisted stitches here. Let me get them straightened out because I, I, I ripped out some work. I didn't realize I had them twisted. Okay, I, I better switch to continental where it doesn't make a difference. So people who hold the working yarn in their left hand, when they're, they have the working yarn in front and they're purling, it can be difficult to keep tension on that and you know, not let go of the needle. A lot of people will hold the yarn, like pinch your finger like this to keep tension, or I've seen a lot of different things. This is just one more, one more thing that you can try to see if you like it. It's not, you know, it's not superior or anything, it's just something else to try. And it's one of those things that looks like a lot until you practice it and it's actually just kind of a, some dance moves. It's, it's pretty easy to work. So the first thing I want to do is to yarn over on my right needle and that is actually getting my working yarn kind of in front without really having it in front. And then I'm going to go into the stitch just like a purl stitch and I want to get my needle around the tip of the other needle and behind so, because that's where my working yarn is. And I can yarn over there and because I'm a continental knitter, yarning over from the back here with the working yarn is pretty easy. Then I want to pull the stitch, the um, right needle forward again. You can kind of think about it like lining your needles up like this. And now watch the tip of my right needle. I want to pull it down, 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 through that loop and back. And then pull the old stitch off. That was really, really broken down slowly. So let me see. Um, I'm all going to bring it down slowly again. Yarn over, go into purl, right needle around to the back and um, wrap the needle. Then kind of back to a parallel position and now the tip of the right needle down, 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 down and through that loop to the back and off. Okay, I'm going to work a couple of knit stitches and I'm knitting them through the back loop because these are twisted. How did I not notice that I was starting a video with twisted stitches? Okay, they're right now. It's easy enough to fix a bulky yarn. Okay, back to purling. Yarn over, in like to purl. Get your right needle behind and, and, and wrap the needle. Back to an H shape. Right needle down, down, down through that loop and back and off. I like the way that this works because I like um, stitches that are kind of a dance move. This is not my primary way of knitting if you're laughing at my continental knitting. Okay, we'll get a couple more times here. Yarn over, into that stitch, right needle around to the back, Wrap that needle back to parallel. Right needle down, 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 and through that loop to the back and up. Old stitch off. Yarn over, into purl. Right needle behind. Yarn over, back to parallel. Down, 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 through the back and up. I hope you give this a try. I think it's pretty fun to work. You know, you, once you, it clicks in your head exactly what's going on, you know, the, the, the dance moves of it kind of come together and your hands start to take over. And um, it's fun. It's pretty fun to work. I'm not a continental knitter, so it's probably not something that I'm going to be using a lot in my knitting. But I hope that this is something that continental knitters will, um, will want to try maybe to shake things up if you're having a difficult time keeping tension on your purl stitches. Good luck.